What's up, peeps? Joel and Williams here at the Distance. Got fantasy match for you guys. This one is Livingston Bramble versus Polly Malinaji. Pretty much, you know, Livingston Bramble was like former um, lightweight champion. I believe he was a lightweight champion. Um, pretty much, you know, fought some decent fighters um, throughout the 80s. Um, Harold Brazier, um, he fought Freddie Pendleton. Holds holds victory, um, holds victories over um, Ray Mancini. And there's other fighters. I think he fought Casa Zoo towards the end of his career. And um, he fought Edwin Rosario. Um, but Livingston Bramble was you know, pretty um, was a pretty good fighter. You know, if you look at the record, you know, he has like more than 20 losses, I want to say. But, you know, don't let the um, record um, mislead you. He was, a, you know, he was a pretty good fighter. You know, he, all, he knew how to get to his opponent. He, um, you know, he hit hard. He had quick hands. Um, fought um, very quick off the front foot. And just, and like I said, he was, he was a guy that knew how to touch his opponent, knew how to get there. While Polly, on the other hand, is a fighter that, that um, pretty much specializes in getting away from his opponent. Using his um using his foot speed and hand speed. We all know that Polly doesn't have, you know, little to no power in his in his hands, but just overall, you know, he makes up for his lack of power with his skill, with his technique and um his ability to beat his position to I mean his beat his um opponent to the position and getting you know to his spots early. He fights well in the pocket though, you know, you would think like a fire like Polly wouldn't fight in the pocket. He does do well in the pocket. He does well with opponents that walk towards him. So pretty much, you know, thinking about this fight and analyzing it, you have a guy that will get that tries that slippery and will try to get away from his opponent, and you know works well setting up his shots. You know, using um, his hand speed, because Paulie has to do a whole lot, a lot more than a lot of fighters in order to win fights. You know, he, he and I think he's very smart. You know, I think that Paulie is a lot smarter than we give him credit for. You know, if you look at Polly, you know, he's he's um standing on the outside a lot. You know, he's um setting up his shots with um his feints. You know, he feints a lot with his right and, and um can um come in with um with a left hook. He hooks well off the jab. He um he sets he throws his combinations his combinations very well. And against the Livingston Bramble, you know, depending on the size of the ring, he's gonna be able to um outmaneuver and, and um use that ring to his advantage. On the other hand, with Livingston Bramble, Bramble could come out. And he could take risk, knowing that he's not going to get, he's not going to be hurt, but he can come out and just um and just bum rush Polly, um pretty much you know, try to get Polly to square up with him so he can land you know that decent overhand right that he could land you know above his opponent's guard. He landed a good overhand right, you know, a decent left hook. He always followed up his hook with another hook, or he would follow up his jab from time to time with a hook. Or also, you know, he would kind of impose his will on his opponent. You know, if he's if he's standing right in front of somebody, then, you know, of course, you know, he's going to try to walk his opponent down. You know, but against Pauly, he's going to have a lot of trouble. Um, as much as I like Bramble, I think that Pauly wins this one. Pauly will probably use his foot speed to his advantage, and he probably wouldn't engage in much of a fight with him. I think Pauly would make it as sloppy as possible keeping it on the outside using his hand speed, his foot speed, and even um his ability to counter and um and actually um Polly does evade the hook quite well. So I think Polly will win this one by a close majority of decision, as crazy as it sounds. So anyway, let me know what you think. That was the distance. Thanks for watching. Peace.